as you can see this story is on Fox 8 Cleveland uh, but it's from uh, more local uh, Amish girl uh, 11 year old killed in buggy crash and this I guess this is the guy that got arrested for it suspected uh, drunk driver slammed in the back of uh, Amish buggy Friday night and here's some uh, list uh, who was in the in the buggy Jonas Hushed Outlaw 22 of Homerville which is where my, my address was Homerville when I was a kid Charlie was his wife Maddie her younger brother Eli Stook and Sarah Stook uh, her sister and Sarah I guess is the one that got killed all three host outlaw passengers were thrown from the buggy on the impact reminds me of the day I got hit by that uh, car um, now it says um, talks about the the injuries and stuff in incapacitating injuries and uh, Jonas Hustler was not hurt in the, in the accident uh, but here it says the OSP, OSHP said the wagon was painted red and orange and equipped with was, was the gas lantern. Now I was, I'm not sure, I'm assuming that was actually a kerosene lantern because they don't have, have gas lanterns up in that area. Lights on both sides and white reflective tape all which meet necessary safety requirements in Ohio. I take issue with that whole thing. While it may, uh, they may have it as as um, necessary uh, meeting the requirements. The those requirements are kind of uh, low. But uh, Reed was not injured, and the authorities believe he was under the influence. Held in the Wayne County Jail. I used to live in Wayne County. And that's actually where where that accident happened where I got um, hurt uh or my dad got paralyzed and and stuff so okay that's it for this report and I'll talk to you later bye